races. First up is this. But I have 500 horsepower on this thing, so I'm probably going to kill them. Goodbye, all. Remember, the back of Grand Turismo games where cars that should not be allowed to enter races, enter races. Yes, it's just a result of the fact that they couldn't finish it on time. Although, well, again, it does happen again in GT4. Now we're given all the time in the world. Stay in control, car! Don't hug the wall, please! That was very close. Oh, that drift! Here we go. Let's see what I can. Let's see what the engine can make of the straight. Have six gears. The GT5 that didn't happen. I said a GT4. Oh wow, that drift. That was under. That was an under. That was understeering drifting there. The GT5 didn't happen. I oh, know it didn't. go they had six years to make it so if that happens control yeah that would have been quite a blunder if that did actually happen during the six years of gt5 of gt5 development that would have been a massive like blow. Hashtag wall tap. It's happened again. It happened again, tank. Oh, this is the joint drift. Stay in control. Damn it. the mighty power of this RX-7 to keep it up and I think that has to do with the fact that the tyres feel like they're made out of paper mache. Do you drive the... No! I refuse to drive a Corsa. If I'm ever going to get my first car, which will be eventually, it's either going to be a, it's either going to be an Alfa Romeo or Fiat. No, not a Civic. I want something with Italian flair. I'm part Italian, so I'm going to need that Italian flair. Anyway, we win. Ten K for us. Oh, thank God. Back itchy a little bit. Get Alpha Spider, they only made those for like 30 years. Well, it's either going to be that or 147. Because, come on, Italian cars. You gotta love them. Alright, let's go pick up our Mazda Racer. Actually, where is our Mazda Racer? Right, we're going to stick this on it. Maz a Mazda Speed C-Spec. I don't know why I did that. However, the question is, can this have the special... Yeah, no, that's not it. No. We're going to have to think of something, boys. Right, next race. 
Mazdas, normal. I feel like I'm going to kill them on Deep Forest. But who knows? Who knows? Look at it. It looks like a... It looks hideous. Bye. Have a beautiful day. Look at that. This thing corners beautifully. Even it has the face of a even if it does have the face of an ogre face spider. Yep, thought I might be kicked the crap out of him, and it is definitely happening. Well, I've got to put the bait at the end. I will look at it soon. Ah, now while this can be speedy on straights, this thing is apparently not speedy at all on slight inclines. That may be a little bit of a downfall for this car. Nice turning. Now let's see what this thing can. This is. Yeah, let's see what this thing is made of. How fast can it go onto the straight before I need to break? 128. Top speed of a Mercedes 600 Grosser. To be fair, what MX5 is fast uphill. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like around the, the, the um, early 90s, the um, MX5 or the Miata in this case. They only had about 130 horsepower. And then Mazda were so obsessed with, with Lotus Land, they even made the gearbox sounds like it. That's when you go into extreme nerdy. That's where you get into extreme nerdy bits. Because Japan. Is that a roof scoop? That is not an external roof scoop. That, that is a roof scoop. I just noticed that. Why is there a roof scoop on it? It's facing the wrong way. Is that supposed to be like letting air out of the cabin or what is that? That looks hideous anyway. We win. That actually looks terrible. I've never seen, I've never seen a roof scoop facing that direction before. If it was to say exhaust air out, I would understand, but I just don't know what the function is for it. It just looks terrible. Also, I farted. Right, we need to see what if we, if the other ones can actually be. Well, I've got a demi away spec, so so that's fine for the next one. MX5, oh yeah, that won't do it. What other ones have I got? I've got the B spec one, which. Let's see if this, if this can actually go there. Can you take a look at the link? Alright, let's have a look. Which? Why have you frozen? Oh, you stupid, stupid app. Well, oh, rip Twitch. I 
I don't, dude, can you send that again? Send report. Right, let's have a look. No, not plucky events again. No racing mod. Okay, that's fine. Send me a link again, dudes. I'll have a look at it. Right, well, we have to buy a Mazda MX-5 then. And luckily for us, we've just found one. And it is 1989 in silver. Get it. I can't. Mass Torba, yes, I get it. Right, let's give this a bit of a tune up. We're gonna put, we're gonna stick a turbo on this. And then what we're gonna do is lighten it a little bit. And then do this. And then this. Going to racing mod. We're going to have it in red or blue. I'll have it in red. But now we're losing a lot of cash. I am funny, clearly. Right, let's start racing Mazdas again. 5k, where the hell will be going? Yeah, that's possible. We're around the autumn ring. Look at that. Excuse me, I'm MX5. Excuse me, blue one. Get out my way. Apparently they do. Weighs probably less than my foot now. Oh yes. Oh god, tires are smoking. Needs. Oh god, I'm looking at chat and driving, that's never good. Wars of these R26B engines swapped MX5 with Wars. Oh god, no. Gotta make all that up again. to catch him so I'm fine. With Hot Wheels and Hot Wheels tracks. Well if the next Horizon actually has like Hot Wheels stuff again, that would be awesome. Excuse me, thank you. Perfect combo. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm in the lead again. There we are. Nice. 
Palace. Oh God, not the understeer, please. Okay, that was a lot better through there because I wasn't reading the chat. Anyway, that's the Mazdas. That's it. Mazdas. That's the MX-5 zone. Forza Aero is best Aero. My Aero is best because Forza told me it was. Prove me wrong. But this Aero kit's good. A drag car on Merc 2. What? That's a drag car. Really? Right, next up, we've got the Demios. So we have to get our Demio A spec. It's the 89. Just the 89. Yeah, it's just an 89 Mazda. Right, let's go grab our Demio A spec. question is, where the hell did I leave it? MX-5, MX-5, RX-7. Ah, here we go. The legendary Demio A-Spec with 99 horsepower. Let's give it a bit more power. Can we stick a turbo on it? Yes, and it does it nicely. Then we've got to lighten the thing because, of course, best buggy ever on video games. If it's not the BF injection, I'm going to be highly disappointed. No, it's called the Scorcher. Alright, here we go. First of the Demio races. First up, the two buggy of the smugglers run. Just gonna lower the boom arm a little bit so I can actually see stuff. That's better. That's better. Alright, here we go. What is that engine, though? <laughs> Is that engine though? Sounds like an alien spaceship. <laughs> slime whistle. <laughs> yeah, they're just recording someone slime whistling. Oh dear God. Engine sound.exe has stopped working. Oh, this is going to be comedy. The Mazda spacecraft has started to go around Laguna Seca. I'm in, I'm in quite the lead. Brakes, however, do not work. It was nice cornering by the, by the uh, Mercedes spacecraft. Why is it drifting? <laughs> God damn this. Is an alien driving this car? Yeah, you know, it's the um, it's the aliens from the Simpsons driving this. It, we just need the laughs now. It's 
Roger Smith's daily. Brakes.exe have stopped working. They're not really brakes, are they? They're sort of like... I don't know what they are on this. Probably just two sheets of metal just turned into a disc. Okay, that's better through there. Use handbrake. No, not yet, at least. Do a handbrake turn for the finish. It'll probably break better. There's another demo A spec on this. All right, there we go. Three K. We're going to be making absolutely no money at all. Which means I'm going to have to do a massive grind fest the next time. Alright, let's get the um, race spec. When's Demi's race spec? God damn it. Here we go. Racing spec Demio. For unknown reasons. Oh, Rome Knight. That really is going to be, you know, aliens. While some have a stripe, I don't. Some say it's the greatest track of all time. I say, no, it's not. God, that bounce. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, God. Pushing me out of the way for some reason. Let's see what I can get on the straight. It's 112. No, it's 118. Everyone knows that the greatest track of all time is that is the is the get lost massive oval in one of the NASCAR games. The best, the best crap track ever. Now, clearly, the best track is Terrible Mountain from Gran Turismo Advance Three. God, that that track that was. Uh, Interesting. Yep, such a series exists. It's sort of like a spin off made by a completely different company. Check out Rhino's videos for that one. I think he's done all three. On a side note, that's actually the first time I ever joined the streams. That was like three years ago. Everyone knows that the greatest track ever is Monaco. The greatest track ever is, is Test Course, clearly. It's history, bro. Well, it uses almost the same principle, like licenses, it's got, but the tracks are an absolute mess. 
that's the thing you need to remember. Special stage X. Special stage X wants to have a word with you. Special stage route 10. Say I can say no to that. I'm having no words with special stage route 10. Special Stage Route 7 also says hello. I still say test course is best course. Go, oh, stupid thing. Sixty-seven horsepower. Here we are. That's Mazda's done. You're clearly oh, God complex string. That was hell, especially the license tests. Anyway, we win that one, and now it's time to pick up the Odozam. Well, this took forever to find. This took a lifetime to find the freaking Autozam. Now we can finally do the last race of the Mazda stuff. Stick a turbo on it as usual. Where's GT300? Oh. God, a GT300 AZ1. Okay, this is going to take a very long time. So this is Grand Valley Speedway with auto zaps. There's the A spec one. That's just shoved out of the way. Grand Valley Speedway with freaking auto zaps. Wow, this even has this even has a fifth gear. But this is all spelled special stage route 10, so shut up. Don't you start beating the Barbie. Look at the dynamic action between these autos out. Wow, there's only one that's blue. Better look out for him. My friend forced you to drive a Citroen 2 CV around Route 10. What? You ever driven a freaking four bottle T around around test course? Now that's real driving pleasure. Painful. Not as painful as this though. Because my god. Look at auto zams around this circuit. Model T round the Berg ring. Now 
Nah, Model T ran the mods. Modern the mods. Here we go, let's see what the top speed of this thing is. I've got a hundred so far. Not very much out of it still. The never ending lab. A film based on real facts. The true story of, of, of a man that once drove a patented motor, bar, motor carriage around the Nürburgring. <laughs> Came out 20 years older. Turn auto zam. Car the size of a golf cart. That's it. The Mazda stuff's finished after nearly an hour, actually. Hey, it's over. Wow, half of a race base. That engine noise is painful. Holy hell. Half of that was just to pick up the bloody auto zap. All for 3,000 credits. Tune in for something much faster. <laughs>